This is Father Dominic Holtz coming to you from Rome, Italy, with a word of hope for Wednesday of the eighth week in Ordinary Time. Gold is remarkably resilient. Of all sorts of elements, gold proves itself nearly impossible to destroy. You can dissolve it in certain chemical solutions, but you haven't actually destroyed it. It's still there, just suspended in the solution. You can use certain nuclear reactions, and that will, of course, destroy gold. But otherwise, gold basically is here to stay. Gold will be around so long as the world is around. And silver is not too far from it. Silver can tarnish, but you can clean it right back up. This is why for centuries, gold and silver were used as the main source of money. It's not just their beauty. There are many beautiful things in the world. But gold and silver just simply last, and therefore they can represent wealth. They can represent a lasting sign of wealth that isn't going to corrupt, isn't going to decay. That's what makes the beginning of Peter's epistle today a little bit strange. He tells us that we haven't been bought with a perishable sort of money. We haven't been redeemed with a money that will corrupt and perish. And then he says, like gold or silver. How strange! Had he said, iron, at least that can rust, or if it were some sort of plant, it would decay eventually, but gold or silver? I think what Peter is getting at here is that even gold or silver only last as long as the world lasts. They came to be with the creation of the world, or as we might now say, they came forth from stars, birthed from the fusion going on in those great balls of plasma in the sky. But pretty much they came to be when the world came to be, and pretty much it's going to stay until the end of the world. But the basis of our faith, the basis of our redemption, is deeper than that, wider than the history of the whole world. We've been bought by the price of the blood of Christ, but that means it's the blood of the Lamb who was slain before the foundation of the world. The blood of Christ, which is even now in the Holy of Holies, not made by human hands, presented to the Father, working our redemption. And is the blood of Christ that will last forever. The blood of Christ that will usher us in to the eternal kingdom when this world, when this earth and this heaven have passed away and there is a new heaven and a new earth. And this is why, brothers and sisters, we have no fear that we've committed ourselves to the wrong party when we've committed ourselves to Jesus Christ. In Jesus and in Jesus alone, we find everlasting redemption. There's nothing that has greater price than his blood. And therefore, nothing can break this buying back, this redemption he has done for us. We are saved, eternally saved in his blood. And by confidence in his blood, we can know that nothing can take us from his hand. No power in heaven, no power on the earth, no power under the earth, no diabolical force, no human force, however powerful, not even the destruction of something as lasting as gold or silver can remove us from the redemption that has been won by the blood of Christ. And that, my brothers and sisters, is a word of hope.